On July 3rd, 1946, the National Mental Health Act of 1946 was passed, establishing the National Institute of Mental Health. The Institute revolutionized mental health treatment in America. For the first time ever, the issue of mental illness was put into the national spotlight, increasing mental health awareness. Because the National Mental Health Act was the first of its kind, it paved the way for the passage of future legislation that improved mental health treatment for millions of Americans. As the U.S. geared up for World War II, mental illness was impeding on the effectiveness of enlistment for soldiers. As the war progressed, one million prospective soldiers were rejected from serving due to mental disorders. The challenges did not stop there. When the war drew to a close, many soldiers came back with PTSD as well as other mental illnesses. Veterans were unable to find their way back into society and were often rejected from civilian life. At the same time, the population of insane asylums increased five times faster than the general population. As more Americans were locked away, their plight was becoming more clear. They were treated inhumanely as they were isolated away from society and neglected by the people. Patients were misdiagnosed, leading people with mild mental illness to be treated the same as those with severe mental illnesses. Even worse, harsh treatment methods such as insulin and electroshock therapy provided patients with no clinical benefits and often led to physical harm. As the number of people admitted to asylums increased, overcrowding, lack of hygiene, and poor living conditions became common issues. Thus, the mentally ill spent a vast majority of their lives suffering in the cruel conditions of the insane asylums. The lethal combination of poor treatment and conditions led to 60% of all patients to never come out alive. These atrocities did not go unnoticed in society. Multiple newspaper exposés put the plight of the mentally ill in the national spotlight. Consequently, there was a huge public outcry for mental health reform. As pressure mounted, policymakers passed the National Mental Health Act of 1946, which made mental health a national priority. So the Mental Health Act of 1946 came about because of the recognition of the need. It was clear that the, that the prevalence, the numbers of people with mental illness was much larger than we had people who could take care of them. So we needed to establish a program of research on the, uh, and the NIH was the perfect you know, place. With the signing of the act, the National Institute of Mental Health or the NIMH was born. The Institute focused on tackling the issue of mental health on three main fronts, prevention, recovery, and cure. Soon, the NIMH became the forefront of mental health treatment in America. The Institute aimed to provide services and research for mental health treatment. Specifically, the NIMH broke barriers in three distinct ways, stigma, legislation, and medical treatment. The first barrier was stigma. Immediately after the passing of the act, the stigma greatly decreased. By creating an institute dedicated to mental health, the act established that mental health was just as important as other health issues such as cancer and heart disease. It demonstrated that people with mental illnesses were not crazy but just needed treatment. The nation realized this was true when soldiers, the nation's best and brightest men, suffered greatly from mental illnesses. The act started a conversation that put the issue of mental health in the national spotlight. I think the most important barrier that the act broke is actually related to the previous invisibility of mental illness. Before the 1940s and, and much earlier, people were, with mental illness were considered aberrant, bizarre, frightening. As time progressed and culture evolved, we as a society have slowly come to at least embrace mental illness as an illness rather than a moral problem, a spiritual failing. The second barrier was legislation. The National Mental Health Act sparked discourse about mental health in Congress. Consequently, the National Mental Health Act was a turning point in mental health legislation, creating a path for future parity acts. On July 28, 1955, the Mental Health Study Act was passed unanimously in Congress. 
it was the first national move towards deinstitutionalization, the process of moving patients away from the crowded state hospitals into well-funded community treatment centers. The act called for a comprehensive review of America's mental health system, which envisioned 2,000 community mental health centers throughout the nation. It promised a concrete alternative to the asylums and long-term custodial hospitalization of the past. The influential report, primarily supported by the NIMH, exposed the deplorable conditions in overcrowded institutions. It found that long-term institutionalization was debilitating, ineffective, and costly. And this research showed that continuity of care, that housing, that vocational rehabilitation made a big difference in terms of people succeeding in their outpatient care and having a life in the community and not having to be in the state hospital. As a result of the Mental Health Study Act, President John F. Kennedy signed the Community Mental Health Act of 1963 into law. The act allowed the NIMH to establish community mental health centers throughout the country. From 1963 to 1980, the population of patients in insane asylums declined from 504,000 to only 138,000. The third barrier was medical treatment. Community mental health centers broke barriers in how America treated the mentally ill. Psychiatrists implemented individualized treatment methods for each patient based on research conducted by the NIMH on the effectiveness of specific psychotropic drugs. As more patients were moved out of their hospital beds and into community health centers during deinstitutionalization, they were finally able to receive medication catered to their specific needs. One drug stood out, Thorazine. Thorazine could treat most psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia and manic depression. Consequently, Thorazine became the main medication used to treat mental illness. Its versatility allowed Thorazine to be extremely effective in reducing the effects of mental illness, putting millions of Americans on the path to recovery. The Community Mental Health Act also provided funding to allow the NIMH to train more doctors and psychiatrists. Between 1968 and 1976, the number of mental health professionals increased by over 50%. With more mental health professionals, patients were able to get more individualized treatment, which improved the quality of care. With better treatment, more people were reintegrated into society. And the reality is that for many people, deinstitutionalization made it relatively easy to go and live in the community for the first time, with either, either with a combination of support and medication, many people could live relatively normal lives in a way that they never really had before. And that's one of the benefits that deinstitutionalization provides, is a lot of people are frankly treated more humanely than they had been under this previous system. I would also say, and just adding to that, that it puts an end to some of the worst abuses that we'd seen in state hospitals in this period. Unfortunately, there were still issues present. Stigma was not entirely erased. There is still some prejudice regarding mental disorders. In addition, some of the chronically ill were left out of the equation. They were often unable to obtain medical treatment for their severe disorders, and group homes could not accommodate every patient. However, the situation is far better than what it was before. As awareness for mental health is increasing, the negativity is dwindling. For the majority, treatment significantly improved. As time progressed, the treatment of mental health issues improved by leaps and bounds to where it is today. Mental health has risen to the forefront of America's agenda. America has and will continue to make strides to improve mental health awareness and treatment for everyone. No longer are those suffering from mental illnesses treated as outcasts by society. No longer are they being locked away like animals. Instead, they are viewed as normal, can live freely at home, and can receive the latest treatment for mental illnesses in their communities. The National Mental Health Act of 1946 was a major stepping stone that constituted the insurgence of mental health awareness and treatment. The act broke stigmatizing and treatment barriers by opening the floodgates to the creation of many mental health facilities and mental health treatments. It prompted a significant ideological shift in Americans. Society began to accept people with mental illnesses. For the millions of Americans with mental illnesses, the National Mental Health Act of 1946 sparked change for the better.